The Bank of Canada is going to increase rates. The Bank of Canada is going to decrease rates. We get some great job reports. We've got bond yields going through the roof. Mortgage rates are going to have to go up, meaning that the Bank of Canada is probably raising rates based on what the bond yields are doing. Everything is getting so confusing. But what we have to look at as realtors and as mortgage specialists is to use these numbers so that we're able to direct our clients as best as possible. Now, we don't have a crystal ball as to what's really going to be happening with the markets. However, what we can do is take the data that's happened in the previous month and see exactly what direction we're trending in. In my last video was that it was going to actually come down because at that time, uh, there were strong signs that the Bank of Canada was actually going to be increasing rates, which should have resulted in a decrease uh, in house prices. Now, if for those of you who have actually seen any of my previous reports, I actually go through the dwelling types, which I think is very important. That's A and B. It also matters on where your property is located. Today, we're going to be taking a look at what is happening in the GTA and Toronto and see exactly what dwelling types have been affected and where the average prices are. One, two, three, four. Hi, I'm Paul Sonny. I am a realtor, mortgage specialist, and a real estate investor here in the GTA. And today we're going to be taking a look at what direction the house prices have gone. September data is now out. So let's see exactly what has happened. And if there's other areas that you would like to see a report on, feel free to comment below and I'll be happy to cover that particular city. Alternatively, you can also book a call via my Calendly link and we can discuss all things real estate and mortgages uh, so we can actually prepare you, guide you, and hopefully arm you with the data so that you can actually make an informed decision. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell and share this video with others that you feel are in the market for either buying or selling and hopefully it'll help them out in making the right decision. Let's get into those numbers. So let's take a look at what has happened in the 416 and the 905 and see exactly if the markets have been affected. In September from last year to this year, you could see that we were last year at a million eighty six. Now we are at 1.119, so the market is actually up. Uh, the amount of sales activity has actually decreased. Pretty much relates to the amount of strong buyers that are in the market that can actually even qualify for a mortgage. So here you can see new listings are actually up 44.1%. The active listings are up from year over year, another 40%. The average price from last year is up 3%. So in this particular chart here, you can see the activity that has taken place for a certain dwelling type. So I like to break down the types of dwellings so that we can actually see how the market has moved. So here you can see in detached, there the activity was pretty much between the $600,000 range all the way down to 2 million plus. Uh, semi-detached was probably from about the $700,000 mark all the way to about the $1.5 million mark. Uh, townhomes is pretty much from about the $700,000 all the way uh, to about $1.5 million. Condo towns is pretty much from the $600,000 mark all the way to about the $1 million. And condo apartments, it's pretty much from $400,000 all the way to about the $1.25 million. I've laid out what has happened pretty much from January all the way to September. So in the 416 area code, you can see here 416, we actually reached a average price of 1.724. We are actually up from last month 5.43%. And if you actually look at what's happened in the 905 area code, we are actually down 1.35% compared to if we look last at month. semi detached market we are now up 3.74% from last month's figures and in the 905 area code we are actually down 2.3% in the semi detached market townhomes are actually up in the 416 now to 992,000 and in the 905 there was pretty much no change it's pretty much flat for townhomes 
and condo apartments. We were up 1% in the 416 area code at 732,000, but in the 905, we were actually down almost a percent. So again, if we look in summary, we can see uh, the markets did actually increase, but in certain dwelling types, as you can see, uh, there were some small declines also. So it's not pretty much across the board. So that's why I like to separate that. Hopefully you like all these details. Be sure to check out my next video. We're gonna be breaking down what's happened in Peel region.